get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. This is the Southfield Team in association with Matt Lindsay and Marbella. Well, I'm putting this after that, by the way. Right, okay. Calm back down again. Okay. So, um, great news, by the way, regarding Marks of Fourth. You really have pulled it out of the bag. I'm going to give you a little one of them. Blue Peters? Or, or a turtle, <coughs> Fantastic, can't wait. And potentially Joshua Klitschko in April. It's mm. just fucking great, isn't it? Um, anyway, talking about big city dreams. Yeah. A lot of dreams could be shattered. Oh, very true. Hello, mate. Right? Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. This you know what? Of all the this champions he's ever had, he's always said that you was his second best. <laughs> Who was the first best? Uh, Brooke, you said. He's my first best. You he's my Brooke. first signing. Yeah, as soon as I walk away, I guarantee he's yeah. something else. No, this was very important, this venue, because this was where he had the big the weigh in for the massive night against Simone Rotolo <laughs> at the uh, Wembley <laughs> Arena. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, they were, the two, yeah, but they were the two fights got you back on track. Two Kerry four, Hope and Rotola. Two four-rounders. Yeah, yeah. Good team. Good team. See you later. All right, mate. See you later. Yeah. A lot um, of we've talked about this. I love this bill because a lot of our young fighters are in proper fights. Real tests. So let's find out. Ben Hall's got a really, really tough fight against a Carson Jones that's banging shape. Uh, Ted Cheeseman fighting a guy 21 and 2. Lloyd Ellett, like... Completely beyond what he's fought before. Same as Reese Bellotti against Ian Bailey. Um, same as Jake Ball against JJ Madonna. Um, you know, so same as O'Hara Davis against Andrea Scarpa. And I'm excited. I'm excited to find out. You know, sometimes you go to a show and sit down, and you know that the early part of the card is sort of, you know, you kind of know what's going to happen. But here, from probably although we start at 4:30, probably from five o'clock, we've got some some really important fights in these young men's career. I'm looking at the, the fights tomorrow, I think two of your f fighters could very, very well get beat tomorrow. Many, more than, many and more than two could like get I beat I think tomorrow. I'm tipping the other two. I'm not going to say they are, but... Okay, well, yeah, but that's, that's, how, that should, that's how it should be, shouldn't it? I yeah, mean, I, hopefully, though, if they do, I won't get any tech tweets after the game. What are you doing putting them in there before? <laughs> but that's, you know, if they're good enough, if they get beat at a certain level, it doesn't mean their career's over. It just means their career as the fighter that we want them to be has been severely affected. Mm. And they shouldn't be losing at this stage. Shouldn't. But can and could. You want people to tune into tomorrow night, come here tomorrow night, with an open mind about Katie Taylor mm. against Corinna Kapinska, mm. correct? Yep. Uh, why should they Because she is probably Katie one Taylor. of the most inspiring athletes I've ever met. And that's what she is, an athlete. Forget women, men, I couldn't care less. If it's an entertaining fight, it's an entertaining fight. Being around Katie Taylor for the last, you know, couple of weeks, this is an inspiring individual. This is an individual, probably the most successful amateur of all time. Six European Championships, five World Championship golds, Olympic gold. So, but the proof will be in the pudding, won't it? I mean, just tune in and watch, and you make your own judgment. If this thing kicks off tomorrow night, and this fight is great. Let me tell you, this is going to be huge. She's going to be huge. But it's got to be entertaining, and that's where the pressure lies. And I think she knows that as well. You know, she's got to go out and win. But I think it's a little bit more than that. You know, and really, we've got two cracks of the whip here. We've got tomorrow night at Wembley, and we've got December 10th at Manchester Arena. Those two. If she can look sensational in those two fights and entertain, mate, I'm telling you now, we've got a global star on our hands. So, not to sound cynical, but if it's not an entertaining fight tomorrow... That's, that's fine. But I'm saying, yeah, no, the people we that were into their minds no, about but that's it... that's okay. We go away. It's, it's, not, it's not not going to be an entertaining fight, but it's, you know, if, if it's a cracker, like Clarissa Shields, for example, yeah? Like a great fight. Everyone's buzzing about seeing Clarissa Shields again. We get that tomorrow night with someone like Katie Taylor, who's got a huge profile. The only way is up. And then we move on to Manchester. We do it again. Then we go to the East Coast of America. Then we go to the Far East. Then we go to Scandinavia. This thing is going to move very quickly. Then we took return to Ireland for a world, world championship fight. This, this can really work, but it's got to go our way. It's got to be good.
product's got to be good. Just like anything. If the product's good, it will sell. Very simple. Well, actually, that's if it's got the right man behind it. And I'm thinking you are the right man behind it. Put your faith in me. That's the wrong song, but the right message, vis-a-vis. Dancing Queen, Abba? Yeah. No. Okay. Um, okay, well, listen, nothing really has no, to be said. Good. 8 o'clock, Sky Sports tomorrow night. Doors open at 4.30, so if you've got a ticket, get down nice and early. 4.30, you'll be done by what? Midnight. It's a long night. It is, a lot of fighters to keep happy. I know, before Christmas and all, but... Everyone wants a Christmas payday. I just can't get over this hay belly thing. Well done. Don't worry, my son. Don't worry, my son. Because there was talk, obviously, just of... Mm. David A going to Box Nation. And well, that was what the plan was. Yeah. Sometimes plans don't work out. And this is obviously a co-promotion as yeah. well uh, between yourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, is this the first fight that you're going to co-promote together? No. Oh, what, what do you mean? You and David Hay. No, it's a one fight, dude. No, this is the first one you've done together. Yeah, because we the signed the co-promotional before, deal with Manuel, Manuel Char, Char, but yeah. it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I mean, don't forget the, the Aldley Harrison bout. Was, uh, I wasn't actually co-promoting that fight, but... Um, oldly, oldly hay, yeah. yeah. You sold that to me, but I don't even know you. I think, although I have a huge amount of respect for Aldley, you have someone in Bellevue who will let his bombs go. Don't worry about that. Oh, it's going to be great. Press Check conference next Wednesday. Next week. Not open to the public. No. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Eddie. Cheers, mate.